Attention, you're about to watch a video with one or more amazing and talented individuals. Unfortunately, they couldn't make it, so you're stuck with these guys. What's up, guys? Get escape good here. <clears throat> let's uh, let's play some more Minecraft. Uh, I'm gonna try another way to uh, make it a little bit less laggy and whatnot. I'm not going to be eating cereal while I play a game this time, so that way they won't <laughs> won't be cut off. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Uh oh my god, that was ridiculous. Um resistance uh, uh whatever. I need to do a shorter tiny, but either way. Uh bobbing, sync, full screen, blah blah blah. Okay, yeah. I there's nothing I can really do. Yeah, that would happen. Okay, um so let's just keep I guess digging away at this. So I don't even remember what I was talking about in the last commentary. Um, I really don't know. So there's nothing really that I have to talk about today, but I do feel bad though, and I feel like I, get, I owe you guys a little bit of an explanation why there was no video on Tuesday. Um, uh, just plain and simple, like I was down in the dumps on on Tuesday. Tuesday was just a very bad day. Like um, I like I said, like I've said in past commentaries, I have two channels, and am I? And like I was struggling just to post the first video, and then the second one, I was like, you know what? I, I I'm down and out. I just went to bed early today. It was just a bad day. <sighs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed me um, freaking out about me spilling my cereal in the last commentary. Um, why? Well, yeah, yeah. People like me, not. <laughs> I'm thinking of doing commentaries about a little bit more serious topics, like, um, like, uh, let's say Wings of Redemption, he's done videos talking about, like, you know, gods and afterlifes and all that, and I, I kind of want to do that, but I, don't, I feel like it would be a little bit too, um, it would be a little bit too serious so that you guys wouldn't be interested in it, but, um, if you are, uh, leave a comment, say, hey, you know, yeah, give, it, give something else a shot, give something new a shot, because uh, I'm more than happy to do a commentary, you know, just kind of, you know, putting my philosophies out there. Um, so yeah, leave a comment, please. I would uh, I would appreciate some feedback on that. So yeah, I know it sounds kind of weird. It's like, what the hell? This is a gaming channel, not you know, speaks channel. I I get that, but it'd be kind of cool just to talk about something different other than just games. I mean, I love talking about games. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it'd be it would just be kind of cool to have a little bit of a change. And um, I kind of I kind of want to go over like, uh, like what. I'm trying to find a way of putting it. Like, just, I guess, why I stopped playing COD. Like, I don't play COD anymore. Not even, like, with friends or anything. I mean, like, maybe once in a very, very, very long while. But other than that, I do not play COD anymore. Um, and, like, wait a minute. Your name's Sharpshooter. Why don't you play COD anymore? I got so tired of COD. Like, um, I think everybody really knows, you know, um, I think everybody really has had that feeling of, uh, you know what? You know, life is, life is a bitch. You know, high school's a bitch, you know, whatever it may be. Um, I'm tired, I'm gonna go play COD. You know, screw screw reality, I'm gonna go have fun with COD. You know what I mean? I think everybody has that, or maybe it's not even COD. Maybe it's uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, maybe it's some something else you guys enjoy. Um, I think everybody knows what I'm talking about when I say, you know, they have some sort of way of leaving reality for a while. And that, that COD was that for a while with me. And um, I lost that. I completely lost that. I got, or I kind of took a step back one day, and I was thinking to myself, "Well, am I really having fun playing COD anymore? Like, I'm getting, you know, just blown out with uh, with overpowered guns. I'm getting beat down by by, or I'm getting killed by campers every game. Am I even really having fun with this game? And I'm thinking, well, uh, you know, it's sharp. I'm sharpshooter, and at times it's fun, you know, playing with friends. But I realized, you know, I don't have like a clan, or not per se a clan, but we we were just a crew that, that we played with. Um, there was there's Ix Ferox, he was in it. Uh, there was uh, you know a guy named Mike, he was uh, he was in it. He was re they were all really cool guys. Um, and I guess this is probably gonna be like more of a reminiscing commentary because it was re those days were really cool. It was like the days of uh, early M Dub three. You know, late to end of three, uh, Black Ops two. You know, we were all together. We played a while. Um, I w I I was part of that. I guess clan because, like I said, I, we weren't really a. Cl I mean, yeah, we were a clan, but um, uh, it was kind of it was more of a crew than anything. It was kind of like the Speedy Crew almost. But <laughs> oh yeah, I just I just had a I just had a memory of a of like a KR Speedy in one of his videos, or it was, a, it was actually shipped from last week. 
Um, where I said, oh, hey, it's KYR Speed and those guys, and you hear Shadow Beats go, oh, KYR Speed and those guys, fuck you. <laughs> uh, I don't know, it was funny to me. Like, um, you know, I kind of lost the whole I'm the Barrett kid thing, just because I don't, I don't really, like I said, I don't play COD anymore, really. I mean, I might, you know, try and pick up COD one of these days, but I mean, I have not, you know, I, I've had a lot more fun playing Yu-Gi-Oh than I have in COD, you know, pretty much ever. Like, what, what the hell is this? What the flying? What the fudge? Yeah, what the hell? What just happened? Ah, that's what just happened. I've never had that happen to me before. Actually, yeah, I might have had that happen to me once before. But yeah, like, um, I guess to go back to what the original title was, like, why I stopped playing COD, is that I just, I lost interest in it. I lost, I flat out lost interest. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, I'll block this out then. Break that. But yeah, like, I lost that whole screw it, I can escape reality for a while thing. And when you lose that, like, your whole motivation to play that game, or, you know, do what you were doing, uh, is like gone. Like it's just flat out just gone. Like you have no intention of you know going into the game or playing the game or whatever. Uh, you just lose that, and that's that. That's a that's a terrible feeling because I've been here. I was there since COD one. I was there since the beginning. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, yeah, like, it's it's a terrible, horrible feeling, like, when, you, when you're like, wow, I don't want to play what I've been doing my, pretty much my whole life anymore, I don't want to do it anymore, uh, it's gotten to be too much, I've had enough, I'm not playing anymore, and that, like I said, it's a terrible feeling, it's a very, 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 I guess, it's a very low feeling, you know, where it's like, well, what do I do now, you know, I don't have this anymore, what do I do now, and I guess I kind of found my, you know, uh, I guess my new outlet, which is which is Yu-Gi-Oh, and I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh since I was like five. And I was never really that competitive with it. I always kind of try to have more fun. I always try to have the deck that nobody had, or you know, just try to you know play these decks and make people go, "What the hell? What's this?" You know what I mean? I always try to be different, you know, and I and I am, and I still have fun with the game, and I still am, I'd say I'm pretty competitive with it, you know. And uh, that's what right that's right now what Yu-Gi-Oh is. And that that's um I lost it with with COD, and I kind of got it back with Yu-Gi-Oh. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. <laughs> hey, it's KR Speedy and those guys. KR Speedy and those guys. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, Shadow Beats. How I love you. <laughs> oh, no, I, I like Shadow Beats. Anybody that, that watches like shit from last week, or anybody that watches, you know, KR Speedy's crew. Or, I, I can't even say KR Speedy's crew. It's not really the. It, it's just the crew, you know? Um, everybody watches the crew, you know, I, I, I like Shadow Beats, he's probably my favorite guy, you know, he's, he's funny, I like him, and his music's awesome. Um, but yeah, I, I lost that, oh, wow, really, did I just break my friggin' torch? Um, but I lost that with COD, I've kind of gained it back with, um, uh, with, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, and it's kind of weird, like, how my life has changed, you know, in the past couple of years. Because, like, you know, a couple of years ago, life was, I'd say, pretty easy. Now life has gotten to be, um, life is really tough. Maybe it's just because of high school, though, mainly. I mean, high, high school's a bitch. I mean, let's, uh, let's, let's be honest here. High school, high school's a bitch. Um, but I, but I think that high school is also really cool at the same time. Like, I've never really fit into anywhere. Like, growing up, I was always the outcast. I was that one kid that would be in the corner while everybody else was having fun, you know, messing around. I was always that kid. I was always the kid that nobody wanted to talk to. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was me. It's, it's funny that, um, you know, like, I always had an outlet, and my outlet, I guess, was Yu-Gi-Oh! And I, and I still have that outlet now. <sighs> I'm sorry this is rambling commentary. I really am sorry. But uh, I'm trying to give, I guess, like a little bit of a backstory because I don't want this commentary to be extremely boring and just talk about random, random, you know, stuff. But I was always, you know, the loner. I was always the outsider that nobody liked. Like for for a long time, my gamer tag on Xbox was the outsider and then a bunch of numbers. Um, and then I changed it to um something else. And then I changed it to sharpshooter when I wanted to start sniping. Um, yeah, I guess I kind of go in a background on my sniping. Um, 
But um, I always, I, I used to love, like, L-O-V-E capital letters. I loved sniping. That was all it like um IX Ferox watches this channel. Um and if any of you guys are subbed to IX Ferox or if any of my IX Ferox's subscribers are also subscribers of mine. For one, that's cool. Um glad you support both of us. But um, you know, you can go to I Ferox's channel and you can ask him, you can say, Hey, was uh was you know sharpshooter like was that all he did was snipe? And I guarantee he'll say yes, that's all he freaking did. Day, all day, all night, you know, every single day was uh was snipe. And um of course, my sniper of choice, since uh, I'm the Barrett kid, was uh, was the was the Barrett for the longest time. Um, I would um, I would host sniper lobbies, and again, uh, Ferox was a was a really big part of the the sniper lobbies a lot. Um, it was M W two sniper lobbies every single day. I would just snipe, snipe, snipe. It was literally I would I would get messages from my friends saying, "Stop inviting me to so many freaking sniper lobbies." <laughs> Because I would host literally two to three a day, and I was at my mom's house. I mean, I used to go to my dad's. I don't go there anymore. Um, I used to go to my, or I'd be at my mom's house about five days a week. And so from five days a week, three three sniper lobbies a day. Um, so five, or so that's fifteen a week. Fifteen four. That's sixty sniper lobbies a month. And I did this for about a good solid year. So <sighs> sixty by twelve. That's 720 sniper lobbies, roughly. I mean, and there were days where I would just go, like, two, or be like, ah, I don't feel like, or, you know, I'm kind of tired, I'm just gonna, you know, get off early. But, you know, roughly, uh, over... <laughs> this may sound far-fetched, you may be like, oh yeah, this guy's t totally full of it, but I'm not kidding, that's how many sniper lobbies I had in about a year's time, was, about, was a little over 700, because I used to do so many goddamn sniper lobbies. And I used to just practice and practice, because I saw Zergris, I saw his The Matrix Reloaded montage, where he hits like the carnival no-scope, and he's hitting all these rapid quick scopes. And I was like, that's it, I'm hooked, I want to do this. So from there, I started sniping, and then, uh, of course. And uh, from the, I have a droid, I love droids. Um, I prefer Blackberry, personally, but you know, whatever, I love uh, droid too, droid's cool. Um, and it was, um, you know, I got real good. I got real good, and I was, you know, I felt like I was, you know, you know, I was the, I was the kid that, um, at least with a Barrett, like, when I had a Barrett in my hand, like, if you beat, if I, you beat me when I had the intervention, okay, cool, it's still good, it's still, you know, good game, whatever, um, I had kind of the whole take no prisoners, you know, kind of mindset, so I was like, I need to win, you know, to prove something, because I felt like I was starting at the bottom, I was starting at the bottom of the, uh, of the food chain, for lack of a better word, um, and I really felt like I had to prove something, and I was a member of Excal, I was a matter, member of Nova, like if anybody remembers the old sniping clan, Nova, I was a member of Nova for a while, I was a member of, like I said, Excal, I was a member of so many freaking clans for so damn long, um, and I loved it, I loved every second of it, and, um, and like I said, I felt like, um, I felt like I had to prove something. I felt like if I wanted to do this, I had to take this seriously. I felt like I had to to, to, to prove a point, and I felt like since I was the, the the new guy, I felt like you know the new guy, the the new kid, the kid that um that apparently couldn't snipe. Um, I felt like I had something to prove every single time I did a one v one, or every time I was in a, in a lobby. You know, someone call, it goes out random messages, "Hey, you're hosting a sniper lobby, quick scope lobby, message for invite." I always felt like I had something to prove, you know, like I, I, I'm, I'm, you know, the new kid and I need to learn, and I need to show that, uh, that I, that, you know, that I'm out, that I'm up there, that I can, that I can hang with, you know, the good, you know, good guys, like, uh, you know, I, um, you know, I played against Face Temper once, or not against Face Temper, he was on my team, but I played with Face Temper once, um, I played with, uh, played with, uh, a couple of guys from Nova, I played against, uh, some I played against some guys that were in some really big clans back in the day, like clans that nobody would remember now. But um, because they they weren't like you know optic status, but they were still really good. Um, and I felt like I, I like I said I felt like I had something to prove. I felt like I had to win, you know, to kind of keep myself up there. And when I had a bear at my hands after a long time, you know, after Pragson for months and months on end, I finally I was as good as I wanted to be. And I kind of kept with it. And I was like, you know what? I need to get better. I need to get better. I need to get better. And I always had that mindset. I don't know if any of you have ever had that mindset about about that, where I cannot, you know, it's like I need to get better. I can't stop get, or you know, I, I need to keep going. I need to, you know, you know what I mean. 
and for the longest time, that was me. I was like, I need to get better. I need to show that I can, you know, hang, that I can hang. <laughs> that sounds so wrong, come to think of it, but, like, I felt like I, I, I was the, I was looked at as the kid that couldn't hang, and I needed to show that I could do it. And, um... I, and I actually, after playing so many sniper, because like I said, it was probably 700 sniper lobbies, and from there, I I would actually I used to get noticed in in you know public lobbies, like people were like, oh hey sharpshooter, and I remember I remember the first time I did it, on, or I was I was recognized, I'll never forget it, um, because it was one of those moments that kind of just sticks out in your life, you know, like um, you know, first time you you know when a I don't know, but like uh. That's a, that's a moment that's going to stick in my head for a while, for a long time, for, for the rest of my life. Because I remember hearing, uh, hey, sharpshooter. I was like, yeah. He goes, wait a minute, sharpshooter180, why do I know that name? I was like, well, I don't know, why do you know that name? He goes, are you that Barrett kid? <laughs> and it was always the same. Like, nobody ever said, oh, yeah, that kid that uses the Barrett. You know, I was always known as, quote, the Barrett kid. Which is why, like I said, now I have that Xbox Live Gamer tag. I don't use it, but I kind of wanted to keep it just for, you know, uh, sentimental purposes. And um, I'm and I was known as the Barrett kid. I would get noticed in lobbies. Um, I remember the one time I encountered a hater, and I loved encountering encountering haters, like trolls and all that. I love dealing with trolls because they're funny. He's like a sharpshooter. I'm like, yeah, what's up? And he goes, Are you the Barrett kid? I'm like, yeah, that's me. So yep, that's that's the downside of having a big family is that constantly they're coming in my room, interrupting the commentaries. I'll have to cut that out. But yeah, I, I always felt like I had something to prove, and finally, after the longest time, I was able to kind of prove myself. I, like I said, I was a member of Nova, I was a member of XCal, I was a member of, you know, so many different clans. Um, and, I'm, and I kind of want to start up another clan, but I mean, again, I'm not really, you know, I don't really play COD too much anymore. But um, I have an idea for what it'll be called. Um, I want to have it be like Society. Like, uh, I want to have it be SES, but I have nothing for the E. But I want to have it be Snipe and Something Society. Because I think it sounds cool. <laughs> That's just the truth. That's the only reason why I like it. It's just because I think it sounds cool. You know, the snipe and... Uh, like, I for the for a while I had the idea of SBS for a snipe and blade society. But um, I couldn't really have blade because not everybody would be either sniping or knifing. I wanted to have a competitive clan. And I did for a while, you know, in XCal. I had, um, you know, I did... XCal, you know, was my, it was my crew. I played with them every friggin' day. They were so cool to play with. Um... And, uh, Ferox, if you're watching this, which, um, you might be, you might not be, I don't know. I'm pretty sure you can remember XCal days as good as I can, um, how fun that was. Um, I loved XCal days. Those were some of the most fun times of my life. And, um, now looking at everything, where everybody's kind of gone their separate ways. I don't, you know, play COD anymore. You know, um, one of the leaders named Dark, he doesn't play COD anymore. Uh, Ferox doesn't really play COD anymore. Um, Mike, I don't... I think Mike plays COD anymore. Uh, he plays League of Legends mainly. Um, and it's kind of just funny to me, like how everybody's gone their separate ways. And it's, you know, it's it's cool to reminisce. You know, kind of reminisce on old times, but it, at the same time, it kind of sucks because you know that um, that it's never going to happen again. You know, you'll never have those days back, or you'll never, you know, they'll never be like they used to be. You know, does anybody else know what I'm talking about? So. Okay, this, this is getting kind of depressing, but I hope you guys enjoyed, I guess, this kind of reminiscing commentary with the droid interruptions, of course. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like in the video if you did enjoy. Click the subscribe button. New vids every, er, every uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Until next time, I'm going to escape it. Until next time, I'm Sharpshooter180, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.